The majority of Canadians want to close our borders and pause our immigration into this country. At least, want to join us? Room for one more. We're watching the TV. And this is according to a new scientific study, a poll commissioned by True North. So three quarters of Canadians, 76%, who were polled by one, which is a research company based out of Toronto, either strongly agree or moderately agree with the following statement. Canada should temporarily pause immigration until a vaccine is developed for coronavirus and the unemployment rate drops down to pre-corona levels. You are racist. So yeah, that includes political party, even liberal voters. So two thirds of Canadians who voted for the Liberal Party in the 2019 federal election supported this statement, 67%. And it was the same with the NDP, 66% supported the statement. Here's Johnny. I have the right to have another opinion about immigration, and I don't know why you're not, you, you're a leader and you must be, try to have everybody on your side, but are you believing in Let me free speech? Question. Are you I believing in question. free speech only when people are saying things that you want to hear? You're asking the question, let me answer it. After a couple of minutes of this debate tonight, I think people can clearly see why I didn't think you should deserve a platform. The comments that you're making, the type of things you say, there's one thing to say that you disagree with somebody, that's fine. But when you incite hatred, when no, you I incite don't. Division, no, I don't. It's not you true. Say you cannot say that. You insult I'm just, a young girl, I just want to have a debate. Ask about her mental stability. Greta Thunberg is clearly mentally unstable, not only autistic, but obsessive compulsive, eating disorder, depression, and lethargy, and she lives in a constant state of fear. She wants us to feel the same. I want you to panic. I want you to feel the fear I fear every day. How dare you? Hello there again. I am JT Blackface. Let's see what immigration has to do with enviro Nazis like Greta Thunberg. It's estimated that each Canadian puts out about 22 tons of greenhouse gas a year. Even during the pandemic, we are attempting to maintain our high immigration numbers set by the feds. The current plan is to add 1,053,000 new Canadians over the course of three years. But why? What does it all mean? Well, the declining birth rate, of course. Here we can see Canadians are not replicating themselves at a sustainable rate. How does something like this happen? Is it natural, or is it somebody's bad idea? The media tells us to not have kids to save the environment. The government tells us we need to allow mass immigration to combat a declining birth rate. More immigration means more greenhouse gas, 22 tons per immigrant a year times 1,053,000 immigrants after three years. That's an additional 23,166,000 tons of greenhouse gas, not including transport and new infrastructure. Wouldn't it make more sense to incentivize the birth rate that additional 0.4%?